Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam goes over and reviews his newest laptop. Geared just for Linux, this is the System76 Lumiere Ultra. Adam's was customized with integrated graphics, 8 gigs of RAM, 3rd gen Intel i7, 750 gig hard drive, sadly not the solid state, with a 14.1 inch screen. All right, quick disclaimer. Um, uh, as far as this goes, I uh, honestly, uh, this is just uh, my review, my impression of it. System76 has not asked me to do this. Uh, I paid full price for the laptop. I get nothing for this review, uh, but I just wanted to share my thoughts uh, with this all uh, Linux laptop just because um, I didn't really find a lot of YouTube video reviews about uh, this kind of laptop. So um, there's my disclaimer, and let's get started. So as I stated, this was a System76. This is their web page. Um, I actually purchased the Lumiere Ultra. Uh, I think this is the fourth version. I could be wrong about that, but I believe it's the fourth version. Uh, then you can see this is everything that comes with. Um, as I stated, uh, I went third generation. I went with the i7. Um, this gives all the stats. I went 8 gigs of RAM, um, at 200, uh, 750 gig uh, hard drive. Uh, this gives all the information, the weight. Um, and also you can uh, configure quite a bit on this um, as I scroll down. Um, you can get up to 16 gigs of RAM. You can get solid state if you so choose. Uh, you can choose different keyboard layouts. Um, uh, all in all, uh, uh, fairly configurable uh, as far as the uh, laptop is concerned. Okay, as already stated, this is the Lemire uh, Ultra. And uh, as you can see, it does have um, uh, decent hardware. Um, the the body here, uh, you can hear that um, it's a little bit, uh, it, it, it's all plastic. Uh, it looks pretty nice, but it definitely feels um, uh, a little bit, uh, I don't want to say cheap, but um, it's definitely uh, not uh, the quality of, let's say, like a MacBook Pro. But uh, that's okay. Uh, I knew that kind of going into this. Um, the screen itself is a 14.1 inch. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's decent quality. Um, you can see I've got this hooked up now as, as my uh, docking station. Um, but uh, it has uh, two USB 3.0 um, uh, uh, connections um, on this side. It also has a HDMI, which uh, currently uh, is right there. I've got plugged in. It also, I believe, has, I think that's VGA, and it also has a spot for uh, uh, hooking up uh, an Ethernet uh, Cat5 cable. So. Uh, and then it has, uh, you know, you just your standard plug on the side here. Um, I like how it's not in the back. Um, I prefer these connections on the sides than coming out of the back, but uh, that's just me. Um, and then over here, uh, you can see this is my, my hub. Uh, this did not come with it. Um, I bought that separately. But uh, then it just has another, this is a USB 2.0, and then it has uh, for your microphone, uh, and your headphones. So um, that is the uh, current setup. Uh, and then the keyboard is just a, a regular keyboard. It's not really uh, the chiclet style. It basically feels more like a, a regular flat keyboard. Um, and then it has the touchpad um, with the two um, uh, left and right uh, mouse buttons here. And then there is your microphone. Now, as far as the keyboard is concerned, um, I don't know how well this will come out, but um, you uh, you have a sleep, um, you have a mute, um, you have volume, uh, you also have for uh, turning on and off the LCD, you have brightness, uh, I think this is for uh, a screenshot maybe, um, and you can turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on and off, and you also have a play button uh, and a pause button. So... Um, that's pretty much uh, the hardware. Uh, hardware is definitely decent, um, as I as I stated. Maybe not quite as nice as a as a uh, MacBook Pro, but uh, definitely uh, decent. Now this laptop comes with Ubuntu 12.10. Uh, honestly, um, uh, I am not a huge fan of the Ubuntu 12.10, so I actually wiped that off, and I am currently running 12.04 with it now. Um, this video uh, has been uh, edited, uh, has been recorded. Everything uh, that you see in this video has been done uh, on this laptop. I mean, this is, as of right now, this is my only Linux device. So everything is being done on this laptop. Um, all I can say is the speed is awesome. Uh, I've been using Caden Live to uh, edit my videos, and um, like on my old desktop, 
uh, it would take well with Sony with Sony Vegas on Windows side it would take uh, like 45 minutes to render out a video um, and then if I use Kden live uh, on my desktop I think it would like take around 20 minutes um, with this laptop uh, with the i7 um, if I really wanted to I could dedicate all uh, eight cores to that process um, I tried it out with seven and uh, that same video um, I could do in uh, roughly uh, five to six minutes rendering it out which is just uh, awesome for like a 1080p uh, 10 minute uh, YouTube video. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to do that all the time. You can see up here uh, in this screen here, this is uh, me monitoring my temperature. And when I do push all cores, it does get up to 80 degrees Celsius, which um, I think this processor is rated to 105 degrees Celsius. Not that I really want to push it that hard. Uh, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll only use three or four cores to render, uh, which will lower the temperature, but it'll just take longer to render. I, I haven't decided yet, but it's nice to know that I have the horsepower uh, if I need that. Now I have run uh, VirtualBox with this. Uh, it is uh, ridiculously fast as well. Um, the only thing is, 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 is running 3D games um, isn't going to be that good uh, because I don't have a dedicated graphics card. Now, I knew this going into this, um, and that's okay with me. Um, I, I really don't care about uh, gaming on my laptop. Um, that will be my desktop's job uh, under the Windows 7 environment. So when I got this laptop, I decided to wipe out 12.10, Ubuntu 12.10, and install 12.04 uh, because of the long-term support, and I think that's supported to 2017. Anyway, uh, my goal is to get as much out of this laptop, hopefully four or five years, uh, with the Ubuntu long-term support 12.04. Uh, admittedly, you can see this doesn't look like Ubuntu. Uh, basically, I'm using the Ubuntu Core, and I'm back to the Awesome Windows Manager just because uh, I'm a huge fan of the Awesome Windows Manager. So let's talk about some of the advantages of this laptop. Uh, the nice thing about this laptop is you will get one of the best Linux experiences that you possibly can. Um, uh, as I alluded to, to last week, uh, my old school laptop, which uh, in the beginning ran uh, Ubuntu and Linux just fine. Uh, eventually uh, a graphics driver was messed up and I can no longer get the screen resolution for that particular laptop. Um, in theory, I should not have that issue with this type of laptop because System76 behind the scenes takes care of everything. So uh, the nice thing is, it's just not a company that basically takes a laptop and just installs Ubuntu on it for me. Um, they actually write uh, a, a special um, uh, driver, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and they also write, um, uh, during the, the Buddha process, they have their own um, firmware uh, that's System76. So, for example, uh, Sleep Mode um, on my computer uh, simply works. Um, even in the Awesome Windows Manager, uh, it just simply works um, because that is at the boot level. Uh, or in the BIOS. I think they have a, a custom BIOS from my understanding. So um, all of that stuff just works and uh, if you've used Linux on other systems um, potentially you could run into some issues where things don't work that well. So uh, that is a nice advantage. But um, so with System76 what you do is um, you have this driver that you can install and basically uh, it'll install all drivers that are needed kind of behind the scenes. You can also restore your system, create log files, um, and this is their custom thing. So later on, if there's an update to Ubuntu, um, you get a new update to uh, this driver, um, and then all other drivers are pulled in behind the scenes without you having to worry about anything. So that is a very nice touch with the System76 laptop. So let me just go over some of the disadvantages that I potentially see. Um, one of the major disadvantages, I think, of this is that there aren't as many uh, computers to choose from. Uh, you may not exactly get the hardware or the laptop style you want. For example, if you wanted like a 12-inch laptop, uh, System76 just doesn't provide that. So um, you're kind of stuck with whatever configurations that they uh, pick out for you. Also, if you wanted something a little bit thinner, um, you really don't have, again, that many options. Now, personally, um, uh, this size laptop is just uh, exactly what I was looking for. Uh, uh, and so for me, that's not a huge issue. But if you wanted something thin or you wanted like an aluminum style 
uh, laptop, um, you're just you're not going to get it uh, with this company. Now, maybe in the future, you'll uh, they'll release a laptop with those specifications. But uh, until then, you're just kind of stuck with whatever uh, uh, laptop setups they have for you. The other disadvantage, although I don't think it's that big of a disadvantage, is that it only comes with Ubuntu, uh, and in this case, 12.10. Now, um, uh, Everything else should work. Uh, for example, I'm assuming if you installed Arch on this, you should have no issues because basically all the components that were chosen were uh, components that were chosen to hopefully support Linux the best that it can. So um, again, it's, it's real no uh, major issue. Uh, you'll just have to uh, reinstall the uh, distribution of choice. Um, but uh, uh, if you wanted, like for example, an Arch laptop right from the beginning, um, you can't get that with System76. Uh, I know other companies, um, once you choose a laptop or desktop, they'll install whatever distribution that you want, and you may get a choice of, of like six distributions. So uh, this company just doesn't do that, but um, I don't really find that a huge deal because um, uh, you can just always install your own Linux distribution. In fact, that's basically what I did as soon as I got it. I installed Ubuntu 12.04 just because I wanted the long-term support. And then the other disadvantage is any issues that you have in Linux that is not in System76 control, such as uh, some bugs in Ubuntu 12.04, which I'll show you in a second, that I've actually gone over in the past, um, basically System76 can't do anything about that, so you're kind of stuck. Now, uh, this isn't, this is basically like if you buy a computer and it has, uh, that has Windows 7 on it and Windows 7 has a bug, um, you know, the computer manufacturer can't do anything about that as well. So it's, it's, it's very similar to that kind of situation. So, uh, you're pretty much just stuck with whatever bug. So, uh, for example, um, Pulse Audio, uh, which to my knowledge is, is the, uh, the sound behind the scenes. Um, every once in a while that, uh, that has crashed on, on the system. Uh, it's not really uh, any fault of System76. It has to do with um, the maintainers of Pulse Audio, I, I believe, is my guess. Um, uh, and the only way I can fix that is by restarting the computer. Now, that's not a huge deal. It's only happened once or twice. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I've been on some forums. I'll try to troubleshoot that. But, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not ideal. Um, the other issue I've had is I had uh, issue playing some web videos. Now, uh, I was able to install some other uh, video library uh, things behind the scene um, that has seemed to remedy that and everything works perfectly now. But uh, as a new user, um, if you don't know how to do that or troubleshoot that, that could be slightly frustrating um, uh, with the Linux operating system. Okay, so let me show you that error that I was talking about. Uh, I showed this off in one of my other videos, but it's still here. It was here on 12.04, uh, 12.010. Um, so let's say I launch my web browser here, and then I slide that over to here. So normally when I select something over here, it jumps over to that screen, and then now um, uh, you should see it, me just immediately jump over to... Uh, this other screen with my web browser and what happens is it comes over here and then I have to resize it and move it around. Now I fixed it so now when I jump back in to over here and then I come over here it switches over like it's supposed to. So uh, this happened in 12.10. Um, you know it's, it's just one of those things where um, I, again, it has nothing to do with System76. It's 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 a it's a uh, a bug in Compiz. So I guess the question comes down to: Do I recommend this laptop, and do I recommend System76? So uh, my answer is a slightly complicated. Um, if you know what you're getting into, yes, I completely uh, uh, support System76 um, and uh, this laptop. Now, what exactly do I mean by that? Um, I guess um, if you are comfortable uh, with at least uh, knowing how to install operating systems um, and if you've tried installing the Linux operating system in the past, um, then pretty much um, I think that is enough knowledge uh, for you to, to uh, do very well with a System76 type laptop, uh, especially if you want a clean, nice Linux experience. If you've never installed an operating system before um, and you have no desire to really learn how to do that, um, then it's a little bit harder for me to recommend System76. I, I, I'm not convinced yet that Ubuntu 12.10 or 12.04 is at that level of 
of uh, detail such as Windows 7 or uh, uh, Mac OS 10. Uh, again, I'm not trying to start any flame wars or anything like that. That's just that's just my opinion. Um, I do think Linux has come a long way. Um, I fully support Linux. Um, it's just that that for uh, new users, um, I don't know if this would be the laptop, my number one laptop of choice for you. Now, having said said that, um, if you are convinced that Linux is for you, uh, even if you have never installed another operating system and really want Linux, um, then this is my opinion. This is basically the best way to go. Now, I'd also like to mention if it be, if it came down to Windows 8 versus Ubuntu 12.04. I think I would almost recommend people to Ubuntu 12.04 just because uh, in both situations it's going to be a new paradigm as far as learning uh, what a computer, uh, how your computer uh, works. And I think honestly Ubuntu 12.04 or 12.10 uh, has that edge compared to Windows 8. So if you were thinking about getting a System76 laptop or desktop, hopefully you found this review helpful. And uh, as always, be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. Thanks for watching.